Hello, hello, my lovely. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to do a new update on my year in palettes. This is the update for May, and I'm using all my ColourPop palettes. So I am going to show you all the palettes I have. I'm going to show you the looks I created with these palettes. And if this is your first time here, then hi, welcome. My name is Anna Chris, and on my channel, I love to play with colorful eyeshadows. I have a very bold, colorful shadow go eyeshadow look going on today, but normally I am more of like the neutral crease with the fun on the eyes. I like to wear color. I love to wear color i think neutrals are just they're not hitting the spot for me but i also like to keep my looks a little bit more simple wearable fun but you know every day really every day so what i am doing for my project a year in palette is that i'm using all the palettes i have in my collection at least once and i'm showing you Every month I'm updating you on how I fared that last month with the palettes I was using for that month. And the month of May, I know I have a little bit of catching up to do. But in the month of May, I exclusively used these uh, Colourpop palettes. And I'm going to dig into them and I'm going to show you what looks I created with those. First off is this designer collection for the princesses. It's so cute. What is the... It's a princess thing. That is the name of the palette. And this is the look I created with it. Very simple, very, you know, I was looking at this palette and I was like, what am I going to do? As you can see, this is, you can go like with these pretty little colors, but I think today, what, what am I wearing? Yeah, I'm wearing something simple. I just wanted a simple look. So I just used the browns and the golds in this palette. If it wasn't for the packaging and if it wasn't for the fact that this is like a limited edition designer thing and like covered it, then I, you know, I wouldn't have kept this. I would have decluttered it immediately, but I have to, I have to come to terms, terms with the fact that I have to declutter it because I think I can't just keep a palette because of the packaging. It is beautiful. I could take this traveling though. Look at me trying to come up with like excuses to keep this in my collection, but I could have this as a travel palette. It's it's nice. It's beautiful. It's stunning. It's just very princess -y. And I'm very much not a princess. Next one. This is technically not a palette. And it technically is as well. Because this is the... Here comes the sun palette. This is a designed palette by Colourpop with only singles. So you can get this... Thing, or I don't know if you still can, but you could get the like the packaging without all the singles. You get other singles, but this is their curated collection of singles for the Here Comes the Sun palette. And I think this is so cute. And the reason why I, one of the reasons I really wanted to get this is because Here Comes the Sun is a very special song to me. My, um, when I was born, it was the first, let me say it like this. It was the first music I heard because when I was born, like a few well, I was on my with my mom, the lady who took care of me and my mom was there and my dad was going to make some coffee for the, the guy that delivered me. I was born at home and my dad walked down and my dad always has guitars and the um, the man like the midwife, but he isn't he's a, he's a mid man. He's a guy. So I don't know what is, what I'm supposed to call him, but the midwife, he um Asked my dad if he could play a song on his guitar. And my dad said, sure. So he played Here Comes the Sun. So that is where, why it's really close to my heart, that song. And that is why I really, really wanted to get this palette. And this is the look I did with it. And I think it's so, so cool. It is so much. It's really fiery. It's really like a sunset or sun. No, it's more of a sunset color story. I love it. I can't really tell you what I've used. But I think I used... This row with a little bit of the yellow with a little bit of this one as well. And I think I put this or this. These are two pressed glitters. I know not everybody loves it, but there are like 24 shades in here. So I, I'm, I'm fine. I think it's fun to sometimes play with glitter a little bit. Um, yeah, so I use these two as well. And I think this one, I think I used. Let me see. Yeah, I just... Oh, I really just played up the glitter. And I think it is such a fun look. And I think it was so much fun using this again. Because I am neglecting it. And I should just have a top drawer for every like season. And put the palette. Oh, that's a very good idea. Do I have a drawer left? That's a fun idea. Maybe I'll do that. And I, maybe I'll make a video about that as well. So I had a lot of fun doing this little look. The next one I used was the Mandalorian palette. 
Um, this is not that old because I think they're still on that Star Wars bandwagon. I also I always say Star Wars. I'm Dutch. <laughs> I don't say Star Wars. I say Star Wars. My husband had a or ex-husband had a uh, very big giggle when I first uh, pronounced that. This is the palette. It's so I think it's so much fun because it's like. This is really up my alley because it has greens, it has the yellow, it is quite soft and murky. But you can have a lot of fun with the colors. The colors are a little bit unusual, even though they look really neutral, they're a little bit unusual. And I think it's stunning. What I did, I used, this is the way, I love saying that, this is the way, in my outer corner. And um, the Navarro Sand, Navarro Sand, I used that all over the lid. So I... Use this all over the lid, and this is in my outer corner, and then this a little bit in the crease, and I think this is such a cool look. Don't you think this is such a cool look? It's totally matte. I love doing a full matte look. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. The quality is really stunning, but I think everybody knows that by now. But yeah, I just, I had a lot of fun with this little palette, and um, yeah, I still keep it in its packaging. I know that's a bit silly, but it's Star Wars. So yeah, I uh, yeah, I have to. The next one is the Going Coconuts. Going Coconuts is one of those OG, everybody loved this and it was out of stock like a million times. Everybody knows this. It is nice. It is a beautiful palette with just a neutral look. And I think this is popping out. I have to glue this in a bit. Ooh. Yep. You don't want to see my fingers. They're so dirty right now because every time I touch my palettes, something happens. Okay, I was really feeling myself in this video, so I have to warn you a little bit. Sorry, sorry, it's a bit... <clears throat> I created a neutral look, but I used only the mattes because I don't mind neutral looks if it's an only matte look because then I love how the gradients look and I think it's really... Well, I, you can see that I really like this look. <laughs> I was really feeling myself. So yeah, I only used... I think I only used... You see what I mean? It's dirty. I only used Nutty, I used Love Bunch, a little bit of Colada, and then Shredded in the uh, inner part of my lid. It's really nice. It is, you know, this is a palette that really lives up to the hype. I must say, that would be a fun video though. Having these like old palettes that live up to their hype. Would you be interested in that? Or if it's just too much about old palettes, just let me know. But I love to play with my old palettes, so yeah. Okay, next look I did was with the... Or could you not? This one. Really nice. I got this because Angelica Nikvis loves this palette. And I buy everything Angelica tells me to buy. I know. And same with this one. The Secret Life of Scorpio. I combined it with this one. These are them together. And you can see they really complement each other. You can really combine these very, very nicely. Very stunning palettes. Um, as you can see in the look. This is what I love to do. This is like, um, it seems like it's very colorf colorful and in your face, but it's really because it's like in a monochromatic type of deal. It is not that bad. Was that a fucking crow killing a bunny? We have crows killing bunnies. Here. It's, it's sick. I know. I live in like Nightmare on Elm Street. Ugh. But as you can see, you can go... The thing with Orchid You Not, I have to say, the thing with Orchid You Not is that it looks like you can go into like a very deep burgundy wine, wine colored burgundy. I don't think this does that. I think Orchid You Not is basically really purple, as you can see in this, uh, in this look. Um, and it's the same with this one, with the Secret Life of Scorpio. It's not like it's... I don't know how to explain this to you, but you get burgundy if you use these two. These. Like you get that like wine reddish type of color story, then you get that. But with this palette, it pulls really purple. I don't mind that. It's just that I'm like, okay, there's a gap in my collection now because I thought I had these burgundies and it's not really a burgundy. So... And I know Angelica says that this is a very burgundy palette. She has like this one in, she has a video about all the, her burgundy palettes. And I, I don't really agree that this is a very burgundy. I think it's really purple. So yeah, I'm sorry. Next up is the Misunderstood palette. This is like the villains to the princesses. And as you can see, it's way more fun. 
it's way more fun. It's a very fun palette. And as you can see, I had a lot of fun as well with this look because I used a lot of the greens. I used a like warm uh, crease, just did a warm crease and I used uh, Facile. Facile. I used this over my lid. And what did I put in my inner corner? I think, oh, mongrels. I think I used mongrels. And mongrels, I think, is a super shock. So, oh yeah. And I also used Diablo. Now I see it. I recognize it. It's fun. It's a fun palette. You can just use these as your crease and then have some fun with the colors. This is really a palette that is right up my alley. Especially when we go into like the darker months and I use darker shadows again. Really lovely. This, the quality is really nice. It's just a fun palette. This is a palette I won't declutter, even though it's like a, or not only for the fact that it's like a, a limited edition thing. Next one is the Sweet Talk palette. And a lot of people love, love, love this palette. I think it is a really cute palette as well. It's just that you get a lot of the same-ish looks out of this. But what I think is fun, I wanted to get something very corally. In this photo, you see me wearing a very corally pink top. So I wanted to have a look that matched that. And oh boy, did I. The lights are washing it out very much. It's, it's like way darker. Can I show you? It's more like this. So it's, it is a little bit deeper than you can see on the lights because it's washing it out. I had so much fun. Look at that look. I use these very... Normally I don't use these types of uh, shades because the very pinkiness of it makes my eyes a little bit like cry eyes. So I don't always love that. But I use this and I use these corals. I think I use side to side as well. It's also a super shock. I had fun. I had fun. It's a beautiful little palette. It's a cult favorite for a reason. I can only vouch for its quality. It's fun. It's fun. Then I have the Through My Eyes palette from I Love Sada E and Colourpop back in the day. It's been a while. But this is a really nice palette. Look at this. Look at this color story. It's like warm. You've got the pinks. You have the greens. You've got the yellow. This is still a very today type of palette. I really like it. And I had some fun playing with the pinks as you can see in this look. I had so much fun. It's a beautiful, stunning quality. Uh, I used... I mainly stayed here this nostalgia shade is so beautiful it is so beautiful and i also um i think in a wink i also use but i use this palette quite a lot when i just got it i also did a one month one palette with this um with this palette it's it's really stunning i really love it i really love the look i created i think it's not a full matte no i kept it a full matte then i have used these three this one and Nostalgia and Misbehave. These are the three shades I used. Only these three. And I had a blast. I really love it. I'm so glad I got to use it again. Then I'm going to the Strawberry Shake palette. It's also just one of those monochromatic palettes everybody wanted to have. It is such a cute little palette. And I really, really like it. I used this on the 2nd of June because I had this only this one and the high tide palette that I'm wearing today. Um, these were the two palettes I still had to use. So this is this is like I did this later in the uh, later than the month of May. This look, but I really, really I have to have a certain mood for this palette because it's so bright, it's so fun, it's so pinky. Um, you if you use this, you go bold. You go bold, you go colorful, but I sometimes really feel that. And as you can see in this look, it doesn't have to be that crazy. I used Berry Fine. And this is a gold to a... Is it focusing on my finger? Come on, you can do it. Yep. This is like... This is the type of shade normally that doesn't look too good on my eyes because I get the cry eyes. But somehow I made it work. So I thought it was so much fun. It is really bright. It's really popping off the eyes. So I had fun. And I think I used these two or maybe three to combine that and maybe a little bit of delish 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 so yeah fun 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 palette nothing wrong with it quality is still really nice even though it's a little bit older already sure might not make a lot of noise then one of my favorites i have one of my favorites it's the child palette I think this is one of the favorite uh, palettes of the Star Wars Wars series um, from yeah from from Colourpop because everybody loves this. It's so so cool. If you like a little bit of green, you're gonna love this palette. And I went 
a green i went green i really wanted to use this like murky greens i don't really use this side i think i only did like this shade just uh just like tatooine just a little bit of that in my light crease i will pop up the look here so just like tatooine is the only brown i use and the rest is all this green stuff all this green goodness the only thing i didn't use yet is baby face which is yoda color which is like true yoda color so why didn't i use that hmm. um yeah i think i used little frog and then sipping soup right hand mando and precious cargo i think i use these four and a little bit of this one as well float your crib i think i also used that in my outer corner oh yeah i definitely did i definitely deepen it up beautiful stunning gorgeous love it i should wear it a lot more often it's just that i don't want to you know use them too much and f them up too much but these are stunning also i keep this in its little box because also the box is then i think oh and i i totally forgot i totally forgot i um used it with the never to us apart and i think this is the shade i used to deepen up my my outer corner yeah and that's all i used but i had to use this so that is what happened and then the last um uh, palette I used today or in this series and I used it today is this one this is the high tide palette it is beautiful I think this is one of my all-time favorite palettes from Colourpop because I love these like turquoise uh, colors but I also love these like murky grayish blues I think that is such such a stunning color and it's not easy to formulate it's very much like in the sydney grace type of style and i really really think these are stunning they behave stunningly they blend very beautifully even though they're i i i think they, i put this on in like five minutes and i used a little bit of my uh, frequency a shade from lethal cosmetics that i have that i'm like i'm not panning it really but i'm using it a little bit more this one it's like a very true white i think this would have been no i don't think you could get any one of these colors out and say um and just put in a true white i don't i think you will have a problem you will have really lost something if you take something out of here um i use this on my um lid then i use this in my outer no on my crease and the rest of the lid and i used this one or did i use all urchin I should have used New Wave, but I didn't. I used Urchin in my outer corner. Well, I really like it. It's a fun little... I really love it. It performs great. It has a beautiful color story. I love it. And then I have a few palettes left. Or a few. I have two palettes left. I did use this. This is Dream Street. I did use this, but I didn't take a picture of it. And I used Spark and Mooney. These two. To create like a very bright color uh, colored look but I, I didn't take a picture don't ask me why but i used these two and i had a lot of fun just putting this in the outer corner this one uh, that spark in the outer corner and then put this all over the lid creating a full matte look with a very big pop of color i just i don't know why but i didn't take a picture i think i used it to go to a wedding if i find it i will put it up here it I had fun i had fun and this is the only palette i didn't get to use this is set on sapphire so i still have to use this i might do that and then pop it up a look um i pop a picture of uh, the look up here but i totally forgot to use this this is not a palette i can easily combine with something else but it's I, it's so stunning i've used it once before i really really love it if i can find a picture from there if i can find a picture that i did with this if i did take a picture then i will put that up it is stunning okay then when it comes to decluttering why is that so difficult the only thing i think i would declutter my shirt is full of makeup and it's white that's not cool i think the only palette i would declutter from this and i don't think i i thought i would i would want to declutter more but i don't is this one the princessy one but i'm not gonna because it's like limited edition so nothing gets the clothes from color plop did i say color plop <laughs> oh my god oh uh, okay well oh and maybe well, this is probably a very unpopular opinion the orchid you not 
and the Koen coconut. It's just that it's the Koen coconut is really no the Koen coconut is it's too taupey and I don't have a lot of this like taupey color story. And this one is just it's too purple. I would love to have true burgundy, true burgundy palette. Maybe I will try and find some singles and make a true burgundy palette. I don't know. Okay, that was it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below which one of these is your favorite. Or do you have a palette that you think of Colourpop I really should try and get? Let me know down below. I'm so curious to know. Um, I'm quite bummed that I'm not decluttering anything. Because I really want to declutter some of my palettes. And make some room. <laughs> because, you know, God knows there's going to be more coming into my life. There's always more coming into my life. So yeah, I really want to declutter some. But this was not a good month to declutter anything, I guess. Okay, well, yeah. Give this video a very big thumbs up if you like what you saw. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Because I would love to see you in my next one. Bye!